Welcome to episode 49 of Let's Play Civilization 3 Play the World. Alright, talking to the Chinese now. Our good buddies from down south. Well, kind of our good buddies. We did have that one war with them, but eh. What's one, what's one war between friends, you know? i ah, just kidding. We're probably going to kick their asses later, but for now they're our friends. Alright. have a lot of windows open right now. They want a mutual protection pact, but <clears throat> as you know, I don't like to do that, so I decide, hmm, maybe they want some coal. So, I mean, giving them railroads might make them a lot stronger, but they're so small, I'm barely even worried about it. Besides, I can always cut them off later. So, I give them some... And they give me some money, too, so that always helps. I'm earning a lot of... A pretty good amount of gold. They're sending some troops up there. And... As you can see, we've completed Wall Street. Now, Wall Street's another one of those small wonders that every civilization can have one. What it does, it actually gives you a 5% interest on your treasury every turn with a cap of 50 gold per turn. So that's a heck of a boost to our treasury. We're earning an obscene amount of money now. Maybe not obscene, but certainly very good. And I'm probably going to raise scientific funding or maybe um, happiness fund happiness um, funding, I guess it's called. It's called something different, but you get the idea. And, um, probably increase scientific research. Because we're very, very close to heading into the modern age. I want to show you the city. See that pink city I showed you up there? The Arabs apparently have already taken a Celtic city. Not sure how, but they did. So, that's a good thing. Alright, setting our, um, bombers in place. As you can see, we successfully took that city in the last time, and this time our target is New Bombay. But I want to bomb this city first, one of their main core cities. It probably doesn't really do much in and of itself, but I like to pretend it has a psychological impact on the um, Celtic Empire to bomb one of their core cities. Probably I'm just full of crap, but I like to pretend. So, get rid of some of these guys, or at least trying to. And yes, I do get rid of that guy. Send him back home. Probably want to get rid of that um, infantry out there in the, um, in the brush, or in the forest, the jungle. Clear these guys out, because... Oh, got my worker back. Okay, that's good. Because, you know, New Bombay was once mine. Up until maybe video 25 or 28, something like that. But then, they switched sides. They just really wanted to join the Celtic culture. And what has it gotten them? Well, their city's depopulated. And... Now, it's going to be retaken by us. Whether they wanted to be in our country in the first place or not, they're going to be part of us once again here. The first of many cities that we will attempt to bring under our control. All right, building more roads. I want to secure that source of coal for myself which will give me a total of three sources of coal which is nice, real nice alright, so fortifying those guys there I'm just hoping that they don't have tanks or they don't get them anytime soon because I don't really want to deal with tank shenanigans right now Fortify all these guys. And send these guys in to that city, which is our new rallying point. 
towards the next main objective. Yes, my empire is producing a heck of a lot of tanks, and I have a good feeling I might just be able to roll all through them. It makes me very happy talking about it. You know. Oh, okay. They have bombers are bombing the Mongols. Guess that's not good. Huh. It's kind of funny. In real life, I'm not all that an aggressive of a person. I'm a pretty peaceful person by nature. But when it comes to this game, I just love subjugating my opponents, rolling tank after tank into their cities, and conquering lands for the glory of my empire. Wahahaha. Okay. Well, we see the Chinese have tanks now. It doesn't have anything to do with coal because it only has to do with oil and rubber. Since when have you heard of a coal-powered tank? So, I don't mind the Chinese having tanks. Alright, so we build infantry here. And a lot of tanks elsewhere. It's always tempting just to build offensive units, just to build tanks. But you want to remember, it's equally important to build up defensive forces. Because, um, as tough as tanks are on defense, they're not quite as good as infantry are. When we get to mech infantry, which won't be very long, it will be better yet. So now comes our attack on New Bombay. Our bombing really didn't do anything, but we didn't really expect it to either, so shoot at these guys just for good riddance and now we'll begin our assault you know there is a certain point when your empire gets so large so developed and so productive you can win most wars by just strength of numbers by just shoving columns of troops down your enemy's throats. And that's the kind of point we're getting to now in the game. And I'm really looking forward to making these guys pay. Kind of be interesting to find out what would have happened if it was only me versus the Celts one on one. If they directed all their forces at me. Be a much tougher fight, but they're literally fighting on every single side. I'm pretty sure even now the Germans, as backwards as they are, are probably sending guerrillas or whatever they have over to fight the Celts as well. And pretty much after I, after the Celts are gone, I'll just have to think of new objectives. Or it might already be getting, getting close to victory time. I'll talk about more about the victories in a little bit, but for now, we're assaulting this city, and it's kind of a mixed bag. That guy gets blown up, but fortunately, we have a lot of tanks. Now you can see why having tanks is so much better than having cavalry. I mean, the cavalry are pretty helpful for a long time. But as soon as you get infantry, cavalry are pretty much not completely useless, but almost useless. And here we have it, folks. New Bombay, after many, many years of being under Celtic control, is back under our control. Of course, there's only Celtic people in it now, but one day it will relearn what it is to be a city within our great empire. Well, that's where we'll stop the video for this time. I hope to see you next time on video number 50. See you then.